Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome to my feet. Uh, no, actually that's not what this video is about. I made a video like this last year, but I've changed a few things in my office, so I think it deserves a 2018 Office Gaming Ultimate Setup Tour video. So, with that, we're actually gonna start from left to right with this painting. This is a Simon Stalinhag. I, I hope I said that right. Stalinhag, Stalinhag, I don't know. It's a, it's a very Swedish fin Finnish type name. But anyway, this dude creates some really, really good art. It's like a retro kind of alternate history alien type thing. And this is like one of the only interior shots. He's really good at landscapes, but I really like this one because, I don't know, I like the colors and I like the big alien machinery and the dude just checking it out. That's me. That's me right there. And um, underneath I had a uh, old um, RGB kind of light strip that I got from Ikea just laying around. So I was like, you know what, I'll just put it under here. I think it looks pretty cool. And you could kind of switch off the lights right there. It's pretty, pretty simple. All right, so next we have a door and you'll notice that uh, there's a lot of nails sticking out of it because there used to be foam. Uh, fo you know, this room is covered in uh, acoustic foam. The door used to be covered as well, but it started to fall off. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna take it off. I kind of like the way it looks anyway. And since there's nails, I can hang stuff from it. So this is my PAX badge from this um, PAX just a week ago. And that was a fun time. I had a great time at PAX. Uh, highly recommend it if you can go. There's a lot of cool stuff there. And I got the creator badge, which is cool. I didn't have to pay for it, yay! All right, and right here we have our play button perfectly flush with the foam. That took forever to cut that out. But yes, I just love this thing just on the wall. It's so beautiful. Thank you guys again for getting me to this point. Could not have done it without you, but I'm a little bit salty because they have new play buttons now. Like that's just solid silver, solid metal, and it looks really pretty. I'm kind of jealous, uh, but I'm, I'm still thankful for this. I love it. Maybe I'll get that new gold play button someday, huh? What do you think? All right, so let's go back this way. I actually got a couch in here. This is from Ikea, but it's really cool. It's kind of small, but it fits in this room just perfectly. And then we got some snaggies, because you know your boy gets hungry when he's recording Beam and G. Then we got some water, because you got to stay hydrated, fam. Uh, I spilled something on this couch. I think it was like chocolate or something, and I've just been too lazy to clean it up. I know it looks like terrible, but what you gonna do? And you may notice this uh, couch has some straps coming out of it. That's because this can turn into basically, a, mm, this can turn into a bed here. Ooh. Hold on, I need two hands for this. And boom, we now have like a full bed, basically, or couch so you can kick your feet up. That'll make sense in a minute, but uh, I think I still think it's pretty cool. Uh, I've got the same pretty crappy chair from Ikea. If anybody who owns a chair gaming chair company wants to uh, hit me up, I will totally shout you out and do a video and everything. Please, I'm tired of this thing. I'm too lazy to go buy one though. Alrighty, so on to the meat and potatoes. Here we got a Samsung Note. Eight, uh, pretty awesome phone. I love this thing. It's so powerful and you can draw on it. Oh no, Bixby. No, get out of here, nobody likes you. And then we got a nice candle here. I'm a real candle man. I love it when my room smells nice. What is this flavor? Spiced apple toady? Not sure what that means, but it's there. Then I have the same keyboard, a Ducky Shine Zero. Beautiful, beautiful keyboard. It's very clicky. I love it. Doesn't really make sense for uh, recording YouTube videos because you can hear it whenever I click it, but I, I love it so much, I just can't give it up. I have the same mouse, the Logitech, ma what's this thing called, Master or something? Uh, hold on. MX Master, that's what it's called. Beautiful wireless mouse. I'm actually kind of looking to get a wireless keyboard as well, because I just want, I just, I don't like having wires everywhere. You see wires everywhere, I don't like that. But uh, for now, I'm gonna keep using this. It's, it's done me good so far, so I mean, why switch? Then we got your standard Xbox controller. Works good enough, but I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a car channel, so I need one of these, or a wheel, which I have down here somewhere, but I just haven't, I haven't uh, had the time to set it up yet, but I know you guys want it, so I will be making uh, G27 videos eventually. Just, just give it time. All right, so then we have a Leatherman. Every man should have one of these. It's basically just a giant multi-tool with a bunch of stuff on it. I mean, just look at this thing. It has literally everything you could ever want. Really comes in handy, especially when you gotta unbox something or unscrew stuff. It just really comes in handy. All right, so right here I have another candle because uh, I'm just a candle fanatic. I don't know why, but uh, I love me some candles. All right, so moving on up, here's the mic. Same mic I am looking. Oh, wow, that pop filter is disgusting. Jesus. Anyway, gross uh, pop filters aside, this is a Audio-Technica ET2035, and I'm actually uh, 
I'm actually probably gonna upgrade pretty soon. I know I said that in the last video, but I just want something a little bit more professional and I hate having this. So I'm looking into getting a Shure SM7B. So if anybody has one of those, they're legendary mics. If anybody has one uh, and, and can tell me if they're good or not, I've been really wanting to get one. So why won't this focus? I don't really know. If I move this out of the way, you can see I have a giant external drive. I think it's six terabytes. Uh, not even close to filling this bad boy up yet, so I probably won't need to upgrade that for a while. All right, so here's the uh, piece of resistance. I don't know. I probably said that wrong. Anyway, this is my computer. Uh, it has an i7 7070K. It's a, it's an i7 from a couple years ago. It's pretty good. Still doing me good. Uh, then I have an EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 for the win. Uh, I know there's a 1080 Ti now, but this thing still is chugging along, just cutting through every game you throw at it so i don't really have a need to upgrade it as of right now but maybe in the future i do like building computers so i probably i probably will be building into one pretty soon all right so i have 32 gigs of rgb ram uh pretty cool i still have the same colors and stuff and then i have a corsair cooler on top of that so really pretty good rig i it it does me good plays bmg good so that's really you know really all i care about all righty and then if we move over here there's just a cluster of wires i know it looks terrible i'm sorry but there's a lot of wires i have all right so here is my main speaker system this is an onkyo not turned on right now and it's really dusty and uh, i also have a switch which is basically a Rocket League and Mario machine at this point, and Zelda. Uh, really cool to have, especially on flights. That saved my life on the way to Boston. All right, so then I have a speaker right there, a speaker over here, one right here, one right here, one right there, and a big old subwoofer, which basically shakes my entire house. All right, so then if we go up, I have a shelf and then a projector. I love this thing. It's a BenQ 1080p projector. Uh, all right, you guys ready? So what does this project onto, you might ask? Well, if we take a seat here, ooh, and flip it around, boom! Giant freaking screen. 130 inches-ish, maybe, maybe 135, I'm not really sure. It's a big screen though, and uh, this thing makes life just great. Watching movies in here with, the, with all the speakers, the subwoofer, it shakes the house, it feels like you're in a movie theater. There's really no point to go to the theater. I go to the theater for, Star Wars movie, Star Wars movies, and Marvel movies. That's pretty much it, because the rest I can just watch at home, and it really is awesome. So, how about I turn it on and show you, huh? And while that starts up, um, I still have the same monitor. It's just a uh, BenQ monitor and a Dell. Really, probably should upgrade these. They're getting a little bit, how I say, old. So that's probably going to be the next thing I upgrade. And also, the lights are still a little bit too bright in here. So I have a Google Home Mini here, which I actually programmed, well not programmed, I set it to uh, listen to me and it has different, it can control the lights basically. Don't look into that one. Ooh, that's bright. But yeah, this thing can control the lights. So if I say, okay Google, it's movie time. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> that's so dirty. But now the lights are out. The big screen is on, and we are ready to watch whatever we want to watch. So, um, I think the the Google Home can also control the Chromecast. So, if I say something like, uh, okay, Google, play Casey Neistat on YouTube on Chromecast. Sure, playing Casey Neistat from YouTube on YouTube's Chromecast. <laughs> so that's so freaking cool. And it just, it just plays. It just plays. Is it going to load? Hello? There we go. So now we have 135 inches of Casey Neistat. It is pretty crazy, not gonna lie. It's it, it's a good time. So if any of you guys want to come over and watch some movies with me, I mean, I'm, I'm down. All right, okay, Google. Okay, Google. Pause it. And there you go. It's paused. So, yeah, that is uh, pretty much it for the tour. Hold on. Okay, Google. Turn the lights gray. Turn the lights up all the way. Sure, all right, setting so. four lights brightness to 100%. That's so cool. I don't have to touch anything. I almost don't even need any remotes except for except for that over there. And sorry to the people who have Google stuff that I triggered. I'm sorry, but I gotta show how cool it is. Look at that. It's so dope. Anyway, that's gonna do it for the tour. So let's get a zoom out here. Uh, this is pretty much it. Pretty cool pad. I really like it, and I hope you guys do too. Uh, also, by the way, let's turn the lights a little bit more neological, shall we? So I have a setting on here 
just for like neological live streaming colors. It looks pretty dope. It's very, very, very aesthetic, you might say. So look at this, guys. This is the neological setup in 2018. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. But for now, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.